Hey guys, John here with a quick news update on Nintendo's near future from President Furukawa. This originated in an interview with Kyoto Shinbun and was translated by the folks at Nintendo Everything. You can find a link to the full translation in the description below, but here's the rundown. When asked if Furukawa thinks Nintendo can hit their goal of 20 million Switches in this fiscal year, he simply replies that it's not an easy goal. We'll be going into our third year of the console soon, and the newness of the Switch will be starting to wear off, so it's crucial for us to release a steady stream of games. With the likelihood of new consoles being revealed this year from Microsoft and possibly Sony, Nintendo really do need to keep Switch momentum going, and it sounds like Furukawa is fully aware of that. Furukawa was also asked how Labo's doing, and it doesn't seem as dead as many expected. It hasn't sold as well as many of our other hit games have, but we did have an increase of sales for Labo at the end of the year. There are many new ways to experience Labo, and we're working on formulating new methods that convey it to lore, so Labo's sales will have longer legs. So it sounds like there's more from Labo to come. It makes sense as the gun still hasn't been seen, but it's interesting that Labo's sales picked up towards the end of 2018, though it doesn't sound like a significant jump by any means. When asked about mobile games, Furukawa made his stance rather clear. Switch and mobile have very different design philosophies, and the purpose of Nintendo's mobile software is to raise interest in Nintendo IP. He also describes that mobile games continuously develop even after release, and that revenue is tied to a constant flow of content. They plan to release 2-3 mobile games per year, which is very much in line with their previous years. Finally, we have the 3DS. Furukawa stated, and I quote, We're nearly 8 years into the 3DS's lifespan now, so the amount of gamers who have wanted to purchase it are already there. The 3DS has advantages in being a simple and lightweight handheld that is also quite inexpensive. We plan to continue our 3DS business moving forward, as we've already prepared it to exist alongside the Switch. So there's a lot to take in here. Some of it we've heard before, but it's great to hear it from the perspective of Furukawa, especially as some had concerns over his last interview. It'll be interesting to see what comes from Labo, and even more interesting to see how Nintendo continues to differentiate the Switch. But what do you guys think of all these details? Let us know in the comments below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Nintendo, and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye!